Thank you, Mr. Vice President. I'd like to start by uh, offering my congratulations also to President of ALDE and the reporter on this uh, final progress report of the period from June until now, but also to uh, ask for the attention of the Assembly with regard to the steps that have been taken by the Assembly but not yet taken up by the Committee of Ministers. The war in Ukraine continues to rage on. Unspeakable horrors, attacks on civilians and children, attacks on the Children's Hospital in Kiev and other war crimes rage on. This assembly has been at the forefront of proposing the proportionate measures to deal with Russia's unprovoked aggression. The creation of the International Tribunal for the Crime of Aggression is one of those measures, and we all wish and hope for progress in this matter before it is too late. But so is also the matter of the uh, compensation mechanism, which would allow for hundreds of billions of Russian assets, Russian Federation assets, frozen in Europe and elsewhere, to be seized and transferred to Ukraine. Surely this measure is proportionate and overdue, in particular given the escalation of Russia's crimes and destruction in Ukraine and Russia's rhetoric. While Putin threatens with nuclear weapons, we must answer with resolve. This is therefore our hope that the Committee of Ministers will not delay taking this unanimous proposal, this unanimous resolution and unanimous recommendation into account. The world is also facing another conflict, which is escalating in the Middle East. We have seen innocent Israelis, Palestinians, and now Lebanese killed in this conflict. This risk of more civilians being harmed increases by the day. Diplomacy must prevail above weapons and a peaceful solution above terror and aggression. At the same time, we recognize the unfortunate reality that conflicts often affect innocent civilians. While Israel, like any other democracy, takes great care to minimize harm to non-combatants, it is critical to remember that the true blame lies with the terrorist organizations who use civilians as shields and exploit the chaos they create. Our focus must remain on supporting Israel's right to defend itself while also seeking to prevent the loss of innocent lives caused by the actions of these extremist groups. These conflicts have an impact on each of our countries. In the Balkans, autocrats are trying to profit from the situation to further ruin the rule of law and to bring to life old conflicts. It's more than a year since the Bainska terrorist attack took place. It's more than a year since one of our colleagues, Knut Abraham, fielded a proposal signed by sufficient members of the Assembly for an investigation of this act. I therefore call on the Assembly to proceed without delay in this regard as well. Thank you.